You see two seconds, one, and the world champion, the Boston Celtics. And so, the Celtics with their 14th flag, we will be presenting the trophy, joining the commissioner, Larry O'Brien, will be in the presentation area, we'll also be going to Rick Barry, and let's go to Rick now. Bill, we have a very jubilant Boston Celtic team as they come into the locker room now, the champions of the world, Larry Bird. Larry, Larry. Get some... Larry, Larry, come here. Let's talk to Larry Bird, who just came on incredibly strong at the end. Larry, there's a lot of talk about the great defense done on you. Your shooting wasn't going real well, but you really came back with a super performance. How do you feel about having come so close in college, and now you're in the pros, you've got the big one? No, this is a very big one for us. We practiced awful hard this year. We stuck together. When going got tough, we came through. They came back on us. But not good enough. Well, they're taking care of Larry here, and he's the man who did it. Larry, what was going through your mind at the end there when your team was struggling and the Rockets made that gallant comeback, and you just took over? Well, I knew if we just made a couple baskets and uh, kept our poise, we'd come through like always. The guys just kept on playing hard. We got a couple baskets, and we done it. <laughs> well, this is one of the dangers of being in the winning locker room. Congratulations. Thank you, Rick. You're going to deserve it. Let's get Robert Parrish. Robert. Robert Parrish. Well, they're taking care of a little business with Robert. Robert, you had a great game out there. You were the fellow that got him going early, and you came back after that foul trouble. How does it feel to have it all? It feels very good. I'm happy to win it all. It's that. Well, Robert, go and dry off a little bit. Let's get some of these other players. ML, ML, come on in here. I right? see so you said you're going to do what you had to do to win, and you did it. We went out, and we played it. We played the game the way we saw it. like you now. All right, ready to go. Okay, Great man. job. Nice going. Cedric, Cedric, come here, Cedric, Cedric. Cedric Maxwell, the man who was voted the most valuable player by Sport Magazine. Cedric, how are your feelings? Bill Fitch has said, hold on for a second. He wants to say something to his ball club. Bill Fitch to his ball club. Bill, with Bill Allen. Get in here, everybody. Hold on, we everybody. We played together and we prayed harder together. Right. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Bow your head silently. Yeah. Thank God for all the blessings that we've had. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, you heard it. Bill Fitch and his team. Cedric, get back over here. Hey, Cedric. I'll tell you one thing. I really admire the way that you admitted the fact that you weren't ready after that second ball game in Boston and you came back to really inspire this ball club. How does it feel to have been able to accomplish that? Rick, it's a tremendous feeling. You know how it is when you win the world championship. And by all means, everybody's standing up just cheering. And I, I'm just lost for words. It's just a tremendous feeling. Listen, enjoy Thank it. You. All right. Tiny. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Tiny. I'm old. All right. All right. <laughs> Tiny, come here, Tiny. Tiny Archibald. Little man here, but a big man out in the court. The man who directed the attack. Super job out there, Tiny. Had nine assists in the first half. You've been hurting all this series with the leg. How do you feel about winning it? Well, I thought we had to keep our poise at night. I knew they was going to come out fired up. Was this going to be, the, hopefully, their last game? And uh, we played well. We tried to run the fast break and execute and just go at them. That's all. Just go at them. How much does the leg really bother you? Well, you see, I didn't penetrate as much as I could, but I just try to pick my spots and try to keep the keep the team going. And that's my job, Rick, not to score anymore, but keep the team going. And uh, I'm glad we just won. Hey, listen, join the fellas. Everybody's going out. They've all left the locker room because they're having the trophy presentation. And Bill Fitch wants his entire team to join that presentation. And so we'll go to Gary right now for that. Okay, Rick, thank you very much. We'll be having the presentation of the World Championship Trophy as we'll have Commissioner Larry O'Brien with us. Also Red Auerbach along with Bill Fitch as the Boston Celtics, the world champions for the 14th time. We'll be back in just a moment. The world champion, Boston Celtics. You saw the excitement in the dressing room. They've now come out here into the trophy presentation area. We have with us the Commissioner Lawrence O'Brien. Thanks, Harry. First of all, I'm sure nobody will mind. Let's say a good word for the Houston Rockets. They did a terrific job, and they did right. And the people in Houston should be proud of them. Gavin Maloof wants to shake hands with Harry Mangoran and congratulate him, the owner of the Rockets, the owner of the Celtics. And now for the 14th time in the history of the... Go right out! Go right out! Red Arbach, Bill Fitch, and all the players. Will Harry Mangurian?
to come over here, Harry. Yeah. All right, Harry. Yeah. I'm going to let you hold this. To the world champions, the world trophy, you are truly the champions of the world once again. And here we go. Well, thank you. And this belongs to you permanently, Harry. Yeah. You don't do I would like to say that it's really been a wonderful season. We have wonderful players, a wonderful coach, and of course, Red, this is old stuff for him, but it's, it's new for me. Well, let's bring in the coach, Bill Fitch. Bill, Bill I think that... Bill, is your back feel a little better right now? It does, Gary. It's, I just want to tell you this for all those who got bad backs. It's not perfect yet. I threw it out going down and shake hands with Dell. Oh, did you really? Yep. Well, I tell you, though, what a battle. What a series. Oh, these guys have, have had two great seasons, and it's been no nights off, not much rest. And if, if a team ever, ever celebrated, uh, this one deserves to celebrate because this is our first night off like in two years. And I'd like to say that we all had a great deal of respect for Houston. And for that basketball team that's sitting in the Houston locker room, it was a great series. And uh, we're just proud to have that championship trophy because of the, the amount of talent we had to beat to, to get it. All right. All right. Well, I notice here Red Auerbach has his victory cigar out. Red, did you ever get tired of this? Never, never, never. And I'll tell you one thing. We got off the 13, we're on the 14. They were simply tremendous. They really showed a lot of character all the way through. I think Fitch, Harry, the ball players, they all came through. I'm so proud of them, like any other championship. Yo! Yeah. 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 That summed it up very well. <laughs> hey, Red, when did you light that cigar? Did you light it to the last second? No, no, the last minute. The last minute. Okay, now we go to a place that's a little more somber, but a team that has to be very proud, and a coach likewise. Let's go to Rick Barry. He's with Coach Dell Harris. Dell, we certainly appreciate you coming out. Uh, this, of course, has to be a successful season, regardless of the fact that you lost today. Your feelings on this series? Well, I'm uh, proud of our players uh, for the, the finish that they made during the season and uh, in the playoffs, and specifically tonight. I thought that they showed a lot of heart out there. Uh, so my hat's off to our players and the Houston Rocket organization, but it's uh, certainly to the Boston Celtics, their fine organization, and, and uh, Coach Bill Fitch and his fine players. And uh, I, as a coach, am indebted to Bill Fitch and <coughs> people like him, Jack Ramsey, uh, Cotton Fitz Simmons, and Dick Mata, who pioneered the way for college coaches to get into the NBA, and, and the subsequent fellows, which are many, who've, who've come in and, and made it possible for a person like myself to have a part of the, the this wonderful thing called the NBA. Well, thank you very much, Dell, and I'm sure that uh, we'll see you around for many years. Let's go back to Gary. Okay, Rick, what excitement here as this 1980-81 season has come to a close. The MVP is Cedric Maxwell, who had 24 points, 28 in the game that they won Tuesday and coming back so strong in this game tonight as the Boston Celtics of the 1981 NBA World Champions. <laughs> Sports Special is a presentation of CBS Sports.